Kelly. I'm Melissa. With With Treadmill Treadmill Talk. Talk. Come along with us and lace up your running shoes. Jump on the treadmill and join us for Real Talk with Real Friends. Hey friends, it's Ashley Ulrey and Melissa with Treadmill Talk. Hi. Welcome back. Yay, we're glad we're back. We're so excited for today. So here we are, and I have a headache. Yep. And we are pushing through. We are. So we were at the gym um, the other day, and I had a really hilarious, hilarious Instagram reel for Melissa to listen to, but she had a migraine. (laughs) And we were on the rowing machine, and I was laughing hysterically, trying to get Melissa (laughs) to listen to this, but she was pushing through her struggle. Yep. Couldn't see out of one of my eyes. It was, like, right behind my eye, so I was just, like, trying to listen to her Instagram, and I'm (laughs) rowing, and I'm going, oh, God. Just one more, <laughs> one more row. row, one more row. <laughs> yeah, and here I am today. We're recording podcasts in the studio, mm-hmm. and I have a headache, and I'm in a really good mood. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of so. Funny. I wish you guys. We're gonna take a picture. We'll post it on our social media. But um, so Melissa has her her normal her diet coke, <laughs> and, and I <laughs> I have like you should just take a picture. I have my leopard water cup, mm-hmm. my coffee cup. Honey roasted peanuts, because I'm trying to push through today all of the things. Here's Melissa going to take a picture. Um, All the things, right? Like, we're pushing through. When we have this struggle and life is hard, you have two options. Keep going Mm -hmm. or let it take you down. Right. So we did opt to not go to the gym this morning because I was... Actually, I almost passed out in my kitchen. Well, it is difficult to work out with a headache. It is. Yeah. And so I stayed home the extra hour and rested um, and then came down here to record the show with you. Mm-hmm. But I'm, I'm pushing through. I'm not going to let that stop me. And right. you did not let that stop you. No. And it's not just migraines, right? I mean, it could be just anything. stumbling blocks in life mm-hmm. in general that we have to overcome. Yeah. Just anything. You know, it could be kids. It could be parents. It could be anything that might take you out you know and that could be any stress can take you out if you let it you know if you let it it. so don't let it um say no not today I think being aware right aware of yeah aware of the things that obviously when you're sick and you have a headache I mean duh you're aware (laughs) you feel the pain right but just circumstances in life being Mm -hmm. aware I listened to a really good YouTube video by Rachel Hamm Hmm. Um, my doctor's wife sent it to me, and she was being obedient. She's like, hey, I don't know why I'm sending this to you. The Lord prompted me to do this. And mm-hmm. I'm like, no, hey, I receive. Like, I'm, there's no judgment. I'll receive it. It is what it is. And so I um, I listened to it, and Rachel, she gave, a, she said a prayer. Mm-hmm. She said two different prayers. Number one was, I release the authority of the power of God over dot, dot, dot. Yeah. Right? That mm-hmm. could be my headache. That could be poverty. That could be children, grandchildren, careers. I mean, you name it, right? Mm-hmm. Whatever. You're releasing the authority of the power of God over. And to me, that's that's overcoming. That's pushing through because you're releasing that over for God to take control. Mm-hmm. And then the second prayer was, I cancel the assignment of darkness over. Oh, I like that. Dot, dot, dot. Ooh, I really like that one. Right? Yeah. So our pre-workout time, Mm -hmm. that's what I do. (laughs) Is I'm like, I'm praying out. I release the authority of God over. Mm -hmm. And I list out all my circumstances. And then I cancel the assignment of darkness over. Mm. Whatever the negative or what I feel like or where God's prompting me to say these things are happening in my life. Today Mm -hmm. it would be I cancel the assignment of darkness over this migraine where Satan's trying to keep me small where I know I have to be big today. Wow, that's awesome. You know, I have a big day. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of appointments today. I have have a meeting tonight. Like, I can't be sick today. Right. You know, so I have to cancel the assignment of darkness that Satan's Mm -hmm. trying to hold over me today. We're pushing Mm. through. I really like that. Yeah. So like that. Because sometimes you don't even know he's attacking you. I was telling you yesterday on my way to my meeting, I was so happy like in the morning we went and worked out I was happy and then I went home and I cleaned my house and I got ready for my meeting and I got set up some appointments and I got ready and was heading out the door and got in the car and just this anger came over me like I don't want to go to this meeting and I thought was the power of darkness just came over the top of me and was like no stay home so something sweet like that just you know I don't think it's very nice 
of well, Satan, you know? I just Right. I mean, that's uh, when you would cancel the assignment of darkness right. over. He was making you not want to go, but, but I you didn't, were blessed by I that. was blessed by the meaning, of course, but I didn't realize that that's what was coming over me. Mm-hmm. I just thought, oh, why don't, you know? And, and, and I think uh, people just don't think that either when they're out mm-hmm. and about in their day. Like, why all of a sudden do I feel yucky? Mm-hmm. You don't even think that, you know, Satan might be attacking you. And wanting to hold you back from whatever blessing you're just about to get. Mm-hmm. And I did. I got huge blessings from that meeting yesterday. Yeah. And um, it was great. So. Oh, yeah. I love that. Yeah, I think it's just knowing. But just overcoming that. Mm-hmm. Not giving in to those feelings of, yeah. I can't, I don't want to, I don't feel good. Mm-hmm. And not that they're excuses, because they're valid. I mean, a yeah. headache is pretty valid. That I mean, is valid. You know, and, and just... God does give you the gift of discernment, mm-hmm. but discerning the truth of I'm supposed to be there and I'm not, you knew you needed to go yesterday. We mm-hmm. talked about it off and on, mm-hmm. like, you know, but it was also like almost every, well, you're not going to be there. So-and-so is not going to be there. So-and-so is not going to be there. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, it was just kind of like, do I go? Do I not go? Yeah. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like I could do other things, mm-hmm. but you knew you were supposed to be there. Right. Right. But when it was time to be there, there was that feeling again of like, oh, yeah, I don't want to. Yeah. And my whole body was like no like I wanted to cry on the way there I didn't want to go so bad and it was just that darkness just went like whoosh like right over the top of me it was the weirdest weirdest thing so yeah we just need to push through through those really hard times and you know God wants us to win but the other one does not God does want us to win Mm -hmm. speak the authority of God over your circumstances Mm -hmm. every every circumstance like Mm -hmm. they say that if we had faith the size of a mustard seed or yeah. faith like a child. Oh, God, wouldn't that be wonderful? Right? I mean, like, we mm-hmm. had a friend one time. Um, my kids were little. I mean, little. Mm-hmm. And we were camping. There were, like, three of us couples. One couple had, like, seven kids. The other had three. And then, of course, we have three. And we were all camping for Labor Day weekend. Mm-hmm. And somebody had lost a pocket knife while out hiking. Mm-hmm. And one of the little girls, um, I think she was, like, six, she was like, I'm just praying, Lord, that you're going to show us where this pocket knife is. <laughs> Well, that little girl found that pocket knife. Wow. Like, right, just she was walking and looking, mm-hmm. we were looking for it, and she found it. That's faith like a child. It is. It is. And I do that all the time. When I lose my water in the house, or I lose my phone, and we all uh, know I lose my phone a I lot. I was going to say your phone. So I'll always yeah. be like, God, grant me a favor, where's my phone? <laughs> and then all of a sudden it pops up, and I'm like, oh, thank you, God. And I just keep moving on. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, that's crazy. I would love, and just to be like a child, just to. Children are so freeing from all the mean stuff out there. They just, our kids, they don't carry the burden. They don't. So try not to carry the burden. And push through. Push through. Even on the hard days. Even on those hard days. And when you just don't want to. Yeah. Yeah. God has something bigger on the other side. Yes, he does. He'll move mountains for you to be there. Amen. I love it. Love it. Okay, friends. Ashley and Melissa, thanks for joining us today. Have a great day. See you next time. Bye. If you guys want to learn more, follow me on Instagram, Ashley Ulrey Life Coach, or follow me on Facebook at Ashley Ulrey. You can visit my website, ashleyulrey.com, and drop me a note at hello at ashleyulrey.com. This has been a Rogue Media Podcast.